Welcome back everyone, my name is Ruben. Today I'm watching The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 9, the season finale. Okay, we're here. We're here at the end of an amazing season of The Last of Us. I have really enjoyed this uh, show, possibly because I'm excellent storytelling, excellent character developments. They have made us really care about some characters literally in just one episode. Um, Special effects, the storyline, the, the the funny lines by El, Ellie, uh, Joel's character and Ellie have been amazing. Seeing them grow together, uh, start bonding together after Joel suffered his um, daughter's death way back in the first episode. I've really enjoyed watching how the story has progressed and learning more about the different communities that have evolved in The Last of Us. Definitely a very heartbreaking uh, show. Um, like I said before, some of these characters we've enjoyed for only one episode because unfortunately they die in some way, shape or form, which is really sad. So a quick recap of the last episode, episode 8. Uh, we really, that was a really tough episode to watch, especially towards the end. Ellie and Joel were staying at this house they found. Joel was very sick. Ellie stuck by him, really helped him out. Uh, even was able to source some medicine, but they met this new group group of people who was led by a leader who was very religious. He was a teacher and now he's a preacher. Hope has found that these people who take on these roles of leadership through religion uh, sometimes find the vulnerable and take advantage of them. And that was definitely the case with last week's uh, episode uh, 8 where the leader, I uh, forgot his name, sorry guys, and I don't want to remember his name, uh, he was taking advantage of his community. They were, sorry guys, spoiler. They were cannibals. Um, and he took advantage of even the young kids. He had mostly women and kids and a few men. He was taking advantage of everyone. And we particularly saw this when he was trying to recruit Ellie, but I don't know, some sick way, psychopaths, crazy human being, trying to get Ellie to be his equal, trying to get Ellie to be to join him. No. Ellie's 14. She has her own life. An old man should not be trying to uh, get her attention. Um, so I was kind of glad at the end we saw what happened to this religious leader. Um, Ellie though has been traumatized and thank God Joel was able to get a bit better enough strength to fight off some of these some of these people that were after him and able to come at the end and be there for Ellie and support her and that really broke my heart when he hugged her and said I got you baby. I've recently rewatched the season one episode and that's what he used to call his daughter as well, baby, like as a term of endearment, a caring term. And finally Joel broke down and he's now really starting to really bond with Ellie. All right, enough about the recap. I'm looking forward to the season finale. So if you guys are ready, listo, vamos. Okay, oh, okay. Just after the episode finish, wait, no, what's going on here? Who's this? Oh, this lady's pregnant. And who's she running away from, man? Where did she come from? This world's very hard to be pregnant, alone. Very tough. Ah, oh, crap, she fell. Ouch. Who's chasing her? I hope maybe Joe and Ellie can help her. Oh, this scream, uh, these screams aren't good. Okay, she's found a place. Oh, okay, so it must be a city. Is that Kansas City? Where is that city behind the background? Me. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's where she lives. I mean, it's me. Oh, is she about to have a baby? Is she actually in labor to make things even more complicated? Where's her friends or family? Oh, yeah, she's having a baby, I think. Or, yeah, something's happening. Does she have weapons? She has to deliver by herself? Hopefully, or whatever it is, whether it's people or like raiders or, 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 or I don't think it'd be infected people, would it? Oh crap. Oh, they're really knocking on the door hard. Oh, no, that sounds like infected. Oh crap, that's an infected lady? Oh, ah! No, no, no. No, no! Fight her off! Knife her! Oh, get the knife! No, in the head! There! 
Oh, is that enough? Is that enough? I hope she didn't get bit. Oh my God. She had the baby? How the hell did she didn't even notice? Must have been so much. The fighting, the strength, I don't know. That is crazy. Oh no. She got scratched or bitten. Cut the cord, cut the cord. And you gotta tie in knot. I feel like I've seen this actress before. I just can't remember where. Oh my gosh, imagine being born into this world. It's Ellie. It's freaking Ellie. Holy moly. Wow, they took us back. They didn't even tell us what year it was. They didn't tell us. Wow, that's Ellie. She is tough. It's two today's tough. Wow. Whew. That almost brought me to tears seeing that it's Ellie. It's emotional. This show is way too emotional. In a good way and in a tough way. This is it. Season finale. Is this still with her mom? Like, is this... It looks like the same cabin. But the door wouldn't be locked, would it? Oh, it's Marlene. Fireflies. Is this when Marlene found Ellie? So do they know that Ellie was immune from the very beginning? Okay. So this is near Boston. I'm assuming now. Right? Because she was in Boston. Anna. Okay, so it is. They do know her. So Marlene knew her mom. I'm assuming. Oh, Anna's thingy? Okay, so this must have been recent then. Yeah, the, the same day, literally. Oh, God, it's spreading. Hungry. Can they bring us something? Can she have milk? I don't want to nurse her. Oh, of course not. In case she gets infected. I cut it before I was bit it before. Mm. Should I take her with you? Find someone, bring her out, and make sure that she's safe. Mm. In order to give her that That's her mom's knife. Wow. <laughs> How long have we known each other? Wait, so does that mean Marlene has to kill her? Has to kill Anna? So you pick her up right now. Oh god, this is sad. Oh, yeah. Sad, sad, sad. Marlene took the baby. She, of course she did. So how they're gonna... Who's gonna kill her? That'd be tough. You, it's your best friend from your whole life. Like, someone you knew your whole life. I don't know if they're best friends or not, but... Who's the dad, I wonder? Ellie. Baby. She's gonna have to do it, I think. I think she's gonna have to do it. That's very tough. I wonder what the, why didn't Marlene kept keep her and raise her herself. There's Ellie. I hope she's okay. I wonder where they are. Hopefully far away. Oh, someone's calling her. I think it's Joel. Well, I found this in there. Okay, they're still... Ah, ravioli? He's trying to make you feel better. Have you ever played this? Oh, Bagu. <laughs> it's a word game. He's really trying. That's good, he's really trying to right. make her feel better. Getting close. That way. Oh, they're getting close to the 
the other place that we're going to meet up with the fireflies, like that map showed them, I think it was near Salt Lake City. At least the weather's a bit warmer. Ellie's definitely traumatized. But she's something. She's not talking to your usual funny self. No. Oh. She's gonna sing. Yeah. Yeah. Play guitar. Maybe I have to teach you. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He's really trying to bond. Good job, Joel. Wow, Ellie's really. Ellie's really out there. This is not herself. That'd be great. She's traumatized. Yeah, Salt Lake City's so nearby. Hospital, literally there. None of the fine fireflies and people that I can actually can do tests to check her blood or whatever it is that they need to do to find. Hopefully, it's some kind of cure. I just hope they get there in time. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Up to that building to get around that stuff, find a sketch paper, go up on the ground. Good idea. Uh, actually, you missed, but I was thinking we blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that. <laughs> okay, that's different. That's more fun. We're going to go through that building, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. He's really trying to get her to snap out of it a little bit. Oh, Joel, you're so good now that you really want to take care of her. Okay, please, no infected. No infected, at least in the beginning of the episode. I'm sure there'll be some, but not now. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's a lot more talkative now. Ellie. Oh, we gotta climb up first. Drop that ladder down. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Why is Ellie's I know why? Ellie's really spaced out. Okay. Yeah, fine. Guess you kinda seem extra quiet today. Yeah, I noticed that too. Did you hear what I was? Yeah. Okay, come on. Climb up there, Ellie. You can do it. Yeah. Drop the ladder. Whoa. What? What is she doing? Ellie, what are you doing? Ellie. Watch. Tell him quickly. Watch. What did she see? Well, at least she's excited. <laughs> A giraffe? Wow. Oh, God. Feeding it? <laughs> That Joel's awesome. Feed it, feed it, feed it. <laughs> That's awesome. The <laughs> <A> tongue. <laughs> Girl, she's smiling. Whew. That's good. And Joel's smiling as well. That's what we need to hear, some cursing from Ellie. I missed that. Ellie, be careful, please. Okay. Well, this Joel's being patient. But I'm worried, Ellie. Careful. Slow down and check things out properly. Wow. Family of giraffes. A lot of giraffes. Any other animals? Well, probably no lines or anything. The giraffe would have been dead. <laughs> so? Very cool. Is it everything you hoped for? Got his ups and downs? <laughs> Can't deny that, people. <laughs> she said that in the second episode, I think. I'm only saying there's risk. Yeah, being realistic. We don't have to do this. I just 
I want you to know that. Okay. We just go back to Thomas. We forget about the whole thing. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Settle down. After all we've been through. Everything I've done. Okay, I think she wants to go through it. Okay. That's good. Ellie has hope. I know you mean well. I know you want to protect me. You have. Mm -hmm. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, the moon. <laughs> yeah. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's very determined, I guess. That's what we started. I just hope the other people are nice, please. I guess they're that close, might as well see if they can do something about it. with Ellie's blood, I guess. Just Joel protector, that's what you need to do, buddy. I wonder if Joel and Ellie could get like a radio so they can at least call the fireflies and see where they're at. Like if they can get like some kind of communication going. Is this a Fedra thing? No. Oh, okay. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak. Oh, in the beginning. Emergency medical camps. Mm. Obviously didn't let us. No way. But... They had me in one just like this. Oh, really? Sarah? No. He's gone already. Oh, my gosh. He's talking about it. So what's wrong with you? It's for this. Oh. I figured that would have happened later. Yeah, me too. No. It happened right away? Second day. It's the army people. They were way better at stitching up than I was. It was me. What? That was the guy who shot and missed. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. Did he try to kill himself? Oh, man. Sarah died. Hmm. I couldn't see the point anymore. Oh, man. So was I wasn't scared of you. I was ready. What happened? I wrote. Tried. Did you move your head suddenly? Once you pulled the trigger out, I flinched. Mm -hmm. Changed mine. Still don't know why. This is why, to help Ellie. You had a purpose. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this is... Why are you telling me all this? Yeah, I reckon you do. The trauma. We've all suffered it, I guess. So time heals all wounds, I guess? Mm hmm. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that makes sense. It wasn't time that did it. It was you, people you meet. The people that you meet. I'm glad that that didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Me too. Wow. That's a big thing for him to share. Yeah. That was huge. Huge sharing there. Huge bonding moment. You know what I'm in the mood for? Music? What? Food. Shitty puns. <laughs> oh, the joke book. Hello. Joke book time. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon? Tell us <laughs> it's topical. <laughs> Moon rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? Because they're meteor. It's terrible. <laughs> meteor. That's really good. That's a zero out of ten. <laughs> I'm glad they, they like the jokes now. Oh. I squish you? No. Oh, because it's purple. Hey! Guys! Guys! Are these the fireflies? Gosh, couldn't you just say halt instead of throwing a... It's gonna get hit, yeah. I thought it was gonna get hit in the head, yeah, in the face, I thought, but... Fuck. Ah, I hope these are good fireflies. Hope they're not bad people. Yeah, they're fireflies. They had the Signa and Signia. Marlene? Marlene's alive? Where's Zoe? She wasn't her. Dying scratch. 
just mostly worried about you. Five men. His only job was to protect me. I still almost got killed. And you're only with two people. What you doing? He's awesome. I'm so armor. You are the one person I never wanted to be in bed to. <laughs> now you are big time. You are big time. Oh, yeah. yeah, big time. Oh, you're just living to her. I can't. Why? She's being prepped for surgery. Okay, what are they doing? Like surgery, what do you mean? Explain. The surgery. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's in the unit. Oh, it's maybe. Trauma, multiply the cells in a lab. Produce those chemical messengers. Sounds it's like possible cure. Sure. But is Ellie going to suffer? Is she vulnerable then? Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Oh, crap. No, no. It does. There is no one else. We didn't tell her, we didn't cause her any fear. There won't be any pain. You take a joy right now. Oh, assholes. That's not fair. Gonna kill her? That's his, almost like his daughter, right? And then what? You can change your mind now and kill her? I know it's a tough decision, but still. Sorry. No, no, no. Yes, you do. He got plenty of other choices. Deli. Are you kidding me? What, a knife? Marlene. Marlene, you're giving him a knife and then... Joel, no. Joel, think this through. Hopefully, can you can think it through. Figure out a way. She sees her. Oh my God. God, what's Joel gonna do? Tommy would have helped so much if he was here. Joel, can you figure out a way here? Holy moly! Please figure out a way. I'm sure you will. The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. Shit, keep walking. Oh crap! Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. You can kill her right away. She can find out where she is. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, Joel. Now you have to fight the fireflies and get Ellie out somehow. Okay, he has a good gun, though. Like, he's armed, so. It's a start. But how many fireflies are there? How many people? Oh, damn. Damn, that was good. Oh. Please. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh crap. He's going to do it all by himself? Crazy. Oh, he's a good shot, though. He's a good shot. Careful, Joel. Be very careful. Oh. Ah. This looks almost like a level of game, I'm assuming, and it'd be a pretty tough level, I'm sure. There'd be so many of them hiding all throughout the hallways. Yeah, kill him. There's no time for giving people a chance to kill you. Oh, crap. Oh. Damn, no mercy. Take the other gun? Yep. Refresh your gun. Oh, shit. Crap, he's, he's destroying them. He is destroying them. So you have to kill Marlene as well? Piatic surgery. Okay, that could be a good place where they would keep her. Be very careful. I wonder if they took her away because they heard the gunshots. They might have taken her away. Ellie? Oh my gosh, are they, they're about to. He's going to kill the doctors. Yes, okay. They haven't done it. Killed him. I'm sorry. Yeah. How did you get in here? Exactly. No? Yeah. Um, hooker. Do it now. How is he going to wake up Ellie? It's going to be tough to carry her. Where's Marlene? That's what I'm worried about. And there might be more people. At least the elevators will work. Helps a little bit since I haven't cooked downstairs. 
But I'm worried about Marlene. Where is she? Okay, here we go. Where are you? Is there a car? Okay. But is Marlene there? Yeah. Can't keep her safe forever. Then what? How long until she's torn apart by invented or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Yeah. Well, more him. So what would she decide? But she didn't want to die. I don't think they were supposed to kill her. They didn't say that. You, you didn't tell her that, Marlene. It's not too late. Even now. Even after what you've done. Marlene, sorry. No, there is no way. Tough choice, but no, Joel can't do that, right? Right, guys? He didn't leave her. Okay, good. And Marlene let her go. That's good. Marlene, Marlene let them go. You were running some tests on you. Oh my god, you're so nice. And some others. Oh my god. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. Oh my god. People that are immune. And doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually seen it. Wow. For a cure. Oh my gosh, Joel. <laughs> Guess Ellie would never know, right? You have to rush out of there. Of course. Joel had to kill them for you. No. She didn't make it. I can't believe she survived from the way back. Oh, they're going back to Tommy's? It's gonna kill her? Why? You just come after her. Exactly. He had to, I guess. How much gas does he have? <laughs> Hopefully enough. These things I think about. But maybe this gas station's along the way. They can get there. Hopefully they can get some food. Wyoming, okay. I think they're getting close to time. Oh. Thanks for to be okay at Tommy's place. That's all I know. Seeing I used to hike like this all the time. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. <laughs> Who is? She didn't like you. Oh man, could have been sisters. Two years the same. But you're definitely different kids. Why so? She was a lot more. I want to say girl. I'm not saying that you're not a girl. <laughs> yeah, not. <laughs> not as much. She had a killer smile. Again, I'm not saying that you don't. I'm not saying that you don't. You know why I think she likes you? Why? Because you're tough. Because you're funny. <laughs> you are funny. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Mm. Yeah, then I would have. Joel's really opening up. Is that Tommy's area? What is this? Guys, is it safe? Hey, wait. Her name was Riley. She was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on me. I know. Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. Can't stop. We'll find something new to fight for. Well, maybe that's not the What? I won't leave you? I won't die. I swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Oh, God. Why is she asking this? I swear. God. What's she thinking? What's Ellie thinking? Wow, that was it. That flew. How long was this episode? Well, we're finished The Last of Us. Just finished the last episode. So Joel really trying to bond with Ellie. Um, Ellie was very quiet at the beginning of the episode. Uh, 
I guess she was still feeling traumatized and I guess a little bit lost. But Joe really tried to get her back on track. He really opened up to her. He really bonded with her. And he was really good. But they were getting really close to the hospital. So they were near Los Salt Lake City and they had to go to the hospital. Joe gave Ellie a choice. Hey, why don't we just go back to Tommy's? Forget about this. But Ellie said, look, we fought so hard to get here. We're so close. All that cannot be worth nothing. And so Joe decides, okay, let's do it. Uh, the fireflies find him. And then we meet Marlene. I thought Marlene was dead. But we see Marlene again. She explains to Joe what's happening. Um, that Ellie obviously has cordyceps growing in her body. That the doctor plans to remove and try to synthesize. It gets to recreate. And that's why she's surviving. But the tough part is that in order to get the cordyceps, Joe realizes they have to cut it out of her brain. Basically, Ellie would not survive that. It wouldn't seem likely that she was to survive that. Sent out Joel, but he fought. He fought hard. Killed all, the, all of them to fight for Ellie. He was able to uh, rescue her just before they started the surgery and started taking her off. I'm assuming they're heading back to Tommy's. Yeah, they shared a lot. Ellie even told her that Riley was the friend that she had to kill, which makes sense. But Joel wants to give her a brighter future. He just wants to, her to have more of a normal life, he could say, in this crazy world of The Last of Us. So he lied to her. Lied to her and said there was other people who were immune, they'll figure it out, or it was too hard to figure out, and it wasn't working. Um, why he rescued her? Ellie did ask him to be truthful, but I think to protect her, he said no. He swears that it was the truth. And I guess he wants to give Ellie some hope, and he's really bonded with Ellie. He even started talking with his, his daughter, Sarah, and Ellie, and he's really become attached to Ellie. And Ellie opened, like I said, Ellie opened up about Riley, so I think they're really bonded even more now. It was a really quick episode. I was expecting a lot more, but I'm happy now nothing else happened. We did see the beginning of, um, the beginning, actually, I forgot to mention. We saw how Ellie was born, which was very heartbreaking as well, with her mother being attacked. And Marlene obviously had him to kill his mother. So it was nice to see where Ellie started all those 14 years ago. And I'm look, really looking forward to see what's next. Season 2, bring it on. Um, great show. Love Joel, love Ellie. Great storytelling. Great, 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 great. Uh, I hope you also enjoyed the show like I did. Uh, I'm looking forward to what happens next, like I said. This is it for now. Until next time. Okay, bye.